is quite Actually, funny enough, uh, one of my sons apart, that is true about, I agree. one it's son is very, very issue. cleanliness is his thing. So actually, he would make a brilliant clean. He's actually a very, <laughs> he's slightly OCD about it. Well, so, I take it back. Yeah. I take, I take yeah, it but back. here's my point, Henry. If you're allowed to have a cleaner come into yeah. your house, yeah. why can't I say to my youngest son, come and clean my house and see him? Well, in theory, you could. Um, what, what I would say, it, it, I was talking about the illogicality of, uh, of some of the regulations that uh, have just been published. And, and I personally believe that it makes no sense for domestic cleaners to uh, people's houses where they've just visited several other houses. I mean, we, we talk about something called fomites, and that is the transmission uh, through other vectors of the virus. They may not be on the person, but they might be on products, they might be on cleaning materials, they might be on mops, they might be on buckets. If you're having people visiting lots of different households, I think you're asking for trouble. So I don't know why cleaners have been called essential workers. They are in hospitals, of course, uh, and in clinics uh, where you're seeing patients. And workplaces. But I'm not sure domestically if they do, are... Do you clean your the... house, Hillary? You're, you're being very bullish about this. Yeah, I'm being bullish about this. Does my the pandemic pin up not, cleaners, uh, my cleaners are not working for us at the moment. No, but do you clean your house? Yes, we do. Do you? 